All right, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to set up your list campaign and get response. Um, this is where your subscribers will reside. Your list campaign is, you know, when you're promoting, if you're promoting multiple different offers, you can have several different lists, each list pertaining to that particular offer so that it keeps your subscribers segregated into different lists. Some people just build one list, but we usually have multiple offers running at any given time. And so what you do is once you're logged in to get response, we're going to walk you through setting a, your list up. You need to set this up first before you go adding any follow-up emails or anything like that because you will add follow emails to this specific list. That's another reason you set up lists. So if you have multiple ones, you add follow-ups pertaining to the offer you are promoting in that particular list. Your follow-up email series will begin uh, with that same product. So that's another reason affiliate marketers or people are promoting multiple offers create different lists but you always need a list that it's associated with because every subscriber that you get will be a lead capture page that is tied to or form tied to that list so that they go in the right spot in your campaign so what you want to do now is your back office should look something like this one and then at the top you're looking for these links up here, list, reports, drafts, create, you want to click on list. So click on that. Your back office here won't look exactly like this one. This is one of our get response test accounts. Basically, we have more than one get response account because this one we use as advanced email marketers. Been doing this stuff for literally over 15 years, email marketing. And we split test subject lines to smaller lists. And we do other online courses where we show people how to do stuff like we're doing right now. And so we use a separate one for doing that kind of stuff. So this is not where the bulk of our subscribers are. So these numbers you can ignore on the sides thinking that we don't have very many people on our list. That's not actually true. These are test accounts for different things that we're doing and to split test subject lines and stuff like that. You don't need to need to worry about that kind of stuff that happened. We started doing that kind of stuff much, much later after we were making a lot of money we learned to do some multiple different kinds of testing by having more than one account um, which perfected some of the email marketing stuff that we do so with that said what you're doing now is you shouldn't have seen none of this stuff really what you're going to see is just create list so what you want to do is find that button maybe it's in the middle here over here click on create list then you're going to give this list a name that pertains to the offer you are building out. And if that's your business offer or your affiliate marketing offer, you want to name it something similar to what the offer is. So for this as an example, I'm just going to name this eMoney Peeps. Uh, that's not a very good job typing there. eMoney Peeps blogging course. We, of course, already have lists for this, but again, this is just a test account showing you how to create this, but you write in here exactly what it should pertain to your list so you know and your subscribers know. So if they ever want to unsubscribe or they want to see what list they're subscribed to, there's a thing in a footer that comes in emails that they'll be able to click on and they can see that and sometimes that makes them aware oh yeah I did subscribe to this so make sure it's named in relevant to whatever the offer is that they're initially going to see so you click on create now it'll create it and should you should have a line here now with that in it and then there'll be three dots over here to the right what you want to do is click on settings okay so you'll have your list name, list title. I'm just going to name it the same thing. Then your list description. I'm going to name it basically the same thing here. And just, I'm going to put eMoney Peeps online blogging course. And that's it. Just needs to be simple. Um, the name pertaining to what it is. Don't make it harder than it has to be because it doesn't. Just name it really close to whatever you're building out. Like I said, if you're an affiliate marketer, whatever offer you're trying to build out for, just name it really close to that. And just a tiny little description is all you need. Choose a category. Um, just make it 
uh, click on one of these categories that are close to um, what your product is or business that you're promoting and you can see you got many options here I'm just gonna put in mine uh, internet marketing and then English now you'll see show postal address in message footer you have to do this by law so make sure that you have your postal address and message footer showing up here and so up here my account if you can see this bar in the top top right you look for that little icon maybe it's a picture of you maybe it's just a um, generic icon but click on the one in the far right that says my account in this top bar and it's next to a little life preserver and then make sure you have your account fully set up and you have your information inside of that and then also if you ever need any help and get response this little life preserver all you got to do is click on it they have live chat um, they have email where you can email them and if you ever have any problems or issues or need help with something they are more than willing to help you their their support is top-notch so now this disappeared just because I just just click anywhere if you have that happen um, get response forms sometimes do this on my computer and it's probably because of my memory if it happens to do it on yours because I have so many tabs open at one time and I'm working on multiple things all the time but just click anywhere if it happens to vanish like it did that for me for a sec it doesn't mean it's actually gone and then a look shot of whatever offer that you have and you can select a file from your computer and put it here I usually always do but for the sake of making this video shorter I'm not gonna put one in here and this is a test account anyway this get response account so this is not um, like actively being used all the time for email marketing to our regular list so I'm not gonna put nothing in there because I don't need to and to show you this but if you do we have a logo for your business make sure that you put that in there um, you need to enter a website address that the logo will link to this should just be to your main domain this is all I ever put this to so I'm just gonna put for this offer our main domain would be emoneypeeps.com you put that in the box whatever that may be and then basically you just save general settings now that you've done that go up to the top go up to subscription and you can send subscription notifications meaning if you want to receive email notifications that somebody has signed up to this list which I usually turn it on and then I usually select an email address so I'll select one of my email addresses I have in here which is support eMoney peeps and I'll apply that and that means I'm going to get a notification every time I get new list subscribers I like that I like to be able to see that information instead of having to log in to get response I like getting those notifications now I may have mentioned in another video you have double opt-in and single opt-in um, for this offer I'm gonna use this as single opt-in so there's nothing you need to do if you're doing single opt-in double opt-in will require making some additional pages and if you're gonna do that then you would turn these on these two right here um, like I said I'm not gonna do that this last one I'm not messing with that at all I never do now confirmation page you just leave that get response unless you're doing um oh no custom mural we'll, we'll put this in here custom mural so whatever your offer landing page is whether you created a special thank you page or you created uh or you're promoting an affiliate marketing product um what, whatever that may be that what they land on after they subscribe and i've explained that one of the other videos when somebody subscribes through your form on your website or through a lead capture page standalone lead capture page when they put in their information they go to a specific page then and you can have that be a thank you page if you've created one or you can create your own later on but otherwise you just put in your main if you're an affiliate marketer and it's affiliate product you put in the affiliate link for that product otherwise I'm gonna go grab my um, email peeps getting started page real quick because this is our offer and I'm gonna put this in here and since it's single opt-in that's the page they're gonna land on and then unsubscribe consent details page I don't edit any of this index search engines I never turn this on I don't want to putting our emails in the search engines or trying to um, we don't do that and so nothing else here do we change or alter and we just click on save subscription settings now 
a confirmation message. This is more if you dealt with uh, um, double opt-in. So if you had turned these on right here for double opt-in, this is where you'd have a confirmation message um, and you would add your from address, reply to address when they get it. Um, just always make sure this from address here anyway is your main domain name, like um, which should be right here. It was what should be here because that's the email address we explained to make sure and sign up with was your domain email address that we've created in prior steps. So just make sure that's showing there, uh, which mine would be for this one, eMoney Peeps. You can see I have multiple from building out and doing these videos to share with people different things and because we have promote many courses and different stuff. So I'm going to make these match just in case I ever need these settings. If I ever change this to double opt and they're in here. And then all you do is save confirmation. Okay, just click on that. You're not really going to be having that confirmation if you followed what I did here with web subscriptions and are only doing single opt-in. That's where if you were doing mainly double opt-in. So now that everything is saved, this list is set up. So now you could add follow-up emails and we'll show you in another video how easy that is to do. But um, it's very easy you just when you come into your account you go to list again and you can see your it should be share, showing here and if you want to add a follow-up email follow-up emails are called autoresponders these are the ones that's why they're called autoresponders because these messages will go out in a sequence meaning they will go out on a time delay and we'll show you in another video how to set those up but you would set them up for this list and that's why these are segregated by list and why you can set up multiple lists for stuff. So it keeps your follow-up email segregated to that specific list, that specific offer, so that it corresponds and that you're not setting it up in the wrong list if you're running multiple lists. So other than that, my friends, that's how simple that is. And we will see you on the next video. Have a great day.